Hello everyone, this is Jade from Never Extreme. I wanted to go over my Publix haul round two. Uh, let's see, I will start here with the pans. So the pans are 99 cents a piece. We have a coupon for a dollar off. I wasn't aware that they had these other shapes um, available in this sale. So I went on ahead and I got some circles. I got the deep meatloaf pan and then I got some mini pans. Those were all priced at 99 cents. My dollar off coupon took money off of, I mean, made them all free. And then I got the Pepsi next. I had a rain check for when they were three for four dollars, making them a dollar thirty-three and a dollar thirty-four a piece. I used the one dollar off Publix Yellow Advantage coupon that will expire tomorrow. And I also used the 55 cent off of the Pepsi Next from the Moments to Save insert and that gave me a little bit of overage, like maybe 20 cents of overage. So that's two dollars right there. Then I got all of my Simply Lemonades for free. They are still 10 for 10. I have a strong suspicion that that will sale will end tomorrow. So if you have any Simply Lemonade coupons you would want to go out and get those now. Um, I got the Pantene, which I know was a better deal yesterday where they were all free, but today I ended up paying 45 cents for two of them. The way I did that was they are, there's a buy one get one free coupon in the monthly P&G, and then in the half month P&G we got um, a get, two, get three dollars off of two manufacturer coupon, so I was able to use that, and then I also had a one dollar off of each Target coupon. So taking all those coupons off made it 45 cents for two. Then I got the Dentist Sticks, which is the money maker this week. You buy uh, the Dentist Sticks or buy one get one free at $3.59. You have two dollar off of each coupon, so that makes it um, $4 in coupons, giving you $0.41 cents overage for two if you only have the Publix coupons. But I also had the manufacturer coupons, a dollar off of each, so that gave me $2.41 per two of overage. Then I also went to get, let me see, I got the Crest Complete. I found those for $1.05. And um, we have, a, I had a dollar off coupon that I believe I got out of the Crest Whitening Strips. But if that's not where I got it, then I got it from the um, P&G that they send to your house. Like that one that was like sample and save or whatever it is that came with all the little samples. I had three of those. So I had three $1 off coupons and two 75 cent coupons. And I'm not sure where I got them, but those were the two places that I believe I picked them up at. Then for all that, oh, and then I also had the Publix coupon for 55 cents, made it 50 cents overage on each of these because they were priced at $1.05. And, um, well, for each of these, and then for this one, I think I ended up paying like 20 cents or something like that, but that's fine. I'll take the little 20 cents for five things of, of Crest. And then I started to get things for my overage, so I got two things of printer ink. I got four shredded cheese and two eggs. The deal on that, I had no coupons for the printer ink. That was just taken up over uh, with the overage. The cheese, I got two for five. They were two for five on the shredded cheese. There was no coupons for them. There are coupons for Sargento cheese, but none of them say shredded cheese. And then there is a Publix coupon that says when you buy two, you get the eggs for free. My household actually needed eggs, which is why I went on ahead and did this deal because it's really not the best of deals. However, you know, I mean, a little bit of mozzarella cheese so we can have some homemade pizza never hurt anybody. And then I got two chips deluxe Keebler chips deluxe cookies they are two for five I used my 75 cents off of two coupon and um, I'm thinking that I missed a coupon on the Keeblers because I think that there's a target coupon for the Keeblers but I didn't have it with me so it is what it is I'm gonna have to let that ride I also was able to use six one, two, three, four, five, six of the $3 off of 25 coupons, which is what paid, I believe, for the printer ink. And my total was $6.47. $6.47 for all of this. I didn't even get any phasimes in this one. 
So if I would have gotten that, man, my overage would have been ugly. I would have been able to get that third printer ink that I need because I, now I need a yellow and I'll be finished. Um, so there you guys go. I hope you guys have a good time shopping at Publix. And I hope to see some of you later tonight. I believe tomorrow I will be going out traveling into areas that I have not been to or I don't normally go to, and that's going to be nice and fun. So uh, I hope you guys have a good time shopping in Publix because I know I am. <laughs> I've gotten over $300 worth of groceries this, just today, and I've paid under $10. That's what I'm talking about. Have a wonderful day.